Hi, hello, Ecamm Live community. Uh, I just finished about nearly two hours live streaming on my Facebook group. It's not too complicated uh, streaming. I just created five scenes. I don't have a stream deck and I, I don't use the stream deck app, which you can use on the iPad or on the tablet. But I used the app called Num, NumPad, which was introduced by one of our members, um, Aditya, uh, a couple of days ago. So I, I gave it a try. So this app you can download from the App Store for $3. $3. And you can, uh, you can create, uh, by default, you can create 24 keys, 24 uh, like stream deck keys. But actually, you can expand more, I think. But I don't know how to pick but so far I know there are at least minimum 24 keys that you can create. And it was amazing during the two hours live streaming, I can I, I, I managed to switch from one scene to another scene, scene one until scene five, almost perfectly, almost flawlessly using the, the iPad app called NumPad. So this is the one uh, you see on the screen now. Uh, I just currently I just create five keys to switch from scene one until scene five. So I will demonstrate now. So this is scene number one. This is scene number two. So I'm just pressing the key on the iPad app on my iPad. Scene number three, which is my uh, sharing the screen, the main screen. Scene number four, which is my PowerPoint, and scene number five, which is my iPad connected to my laptop, to my Mac. And this actually serves as another camera so that I can mirror my iPad so that I can show you now. So um, the, the name of the app, as you can see, is NumPad. $3 you can uh, download from the App Store. And this is to me a wonderful app because it's so easy to use and to set up. Um, when you download the app and you launch the app, you will get instruction to uh, download the application for the Mac. So you need to download one application for the Mac and install it on your Mac. And then uh, you will connect the Mac to your iPad through the cable. So once you have done the connection, then you will see, uh, you will see. Uh, then you can create a new set of keypad. So as, as you can see here, when I click the the three, the three dots on the top right hand corner, then I get these options. So you can edit the existing keypad that you have created or you can create a new one. Let me show you how to create a new one very simply. So you can see here, by default, you get 24 keys that you can create. Um, I think you can, actually you can add more columns uh, and more rows, but I, I, I don't know how, I'm still figuring, figuring out how to do it. I hope Aditya can show. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, before that, I forgot to show you. Uh, this is actually the Facebook post by Aditya Sreshti. Thank you very much, uh, Aditya. And um, it, this is the post where he was sharing this, this app. Uh, just give a, a quick shout to Aditya. Okay, now let me show once again. I want to create a new... Um, okay, I want to go to... Oops. Let me just, okay. So uh, I'll go to the top right hand corner where, the, where you can see the three dots and I want to create uh, the keypad. So the plus sign, create keypad. So I want to create a new set of keypad here. Yeah, so by default you get 24 keys that you can, you can create. Now the first thing, you can see the pencil icon down here um, when you click 
then you give you can click title and give the title to this a new set of keys so let me just call it ecam um, it can too okay and click okay so you can see at the top the name of the keys of the keypad now you want to add let's say a new scene you want to assign uh, the first here yeah the first plus sign here to a new scene so uh, the first scene is the the, the key uh, the key shortcut is command one then click done so you can see the second scene is command two the third scene is command three the fourth scene command four click done fifth scene command five click done and you can rename the key to reflect the name of the scene for example there the command one the scene number one is actually my countdown you can see on the scene in this the list of scene here so i will click edit on the on the top right hand corner because i want to edit this key so i choose the first key the first scene then click edit the pencil icon down here and now click title and I can put the name of the scene. This one is count. Oh, I just call it scene one, scene two for for the sake of uh, simplicity for this demo. But you can count. You can put the, the actual name in this case, countdown. Um, so I just call it scene one. This one is scene two. Um, oops. scene 2 and you can repeat the process to name to rename the key here according to the name of the scene i want to save time but basically you get an idea so once this is done i click done on the top right hand corner and then click done again on the top left and then um the, the thing the the my iPad, my keypad is ready. So I can now go to scene one, go to scene two, hi, <laughs> go to scene three, scene four, and scene five. That's how I did it. Um, very, very simply, I think uh, very easy to set up. For three dollars, for three dollars, you can get 24 keys and you can expand further uh, this one uh, I, I don't know how to do it yet uh, but basically 24 keys for my all for my purpose for all intent and purposes <coughs> I think probably would be enough of course you change we can change the color you can add picture actually you can add picture and but you can explore uh, the I just show the basic and I think the rest uh, you can explore so I hope this short demo would be would help those who want to try out this app called once again um, <clears throat> this app is called numpad that's all for now and i hope uh, i hope we can give it a try and will be probably useful for you thank you